showed you in the elevator, the lighting that was coming down from the top really showed a very clear line here where the plastic meets the forehead, which I hadn't observed in the mirror, not that I'd looked properly. So it's now day approximately 13 instead of day 15. Um, so every five days I said you would have to do front hairline maintenance with Polly. Well, I guess I'm wrong. This is the 13th day, so it hasn't been a full five days, and I have to do some front hairline maintenance. Nowhere else though, I mean, it's, it's sort of shiny along there. But that's probably because of the hairspray that I put all over my hair before. But I'm just going to do a touch up. By pulling that bit back there. I was on the treadmill for a couple of hours yesterday, so. But still, it shouldn't be an excuse. If you sweat, you probably have to do uh, front hairline maintenance more often. And I think it's probably bullshit of me to try to say that <laughs> a touch up and the front hairline maintenance are two different things. So yeah, do it whenever you need to. But my estimate is once every five days for Polly. But I was wrong. Five, five, and now three. So I'm pulling this glue off so there's no extra bubblage. Also, if you saw me put this on the, with the previous front hairline maintenance video on day 10, you will have seen that the, the glue was coming out in a sort of a chunk because the glue I have here I was exposed to air for an hour at one point and just from the, from the amount I've used it over the last, I don't know how long, you can trace back. I, I, I opened a new packet in the previous video, somebody may be able to comment about what date that was. Um, yeah, so always put your lid back on your glue because otherwise it will not distribute a nice thick layer of glue for you because you'll get chunks and thin glue. And I think that's what might've happened here because realistically, I haven't really had any leverage on this front section. <coughs> so because I've had the brush back look the whole time, It shouldn't have been provoked to lift if it was glued down properly. I've also noticed there has been quite a lot of shedding going on. Just basically when, when the hairs come out a bit further, instead of snipping them off like I probably should have done, I just pulled them. So I've pulled out about 50 hairs over the past week. So my advice to you, if you've got hairs that have started um, de-threading themselves because you've brushed them and then they've come, they've come along with a brush, um, you probably, this is, I'm sorry, this glue is taking so long to pick off. Yeah, so just cut them with scissors, the, the bits that are shedding. You don't need to pull them all the way through. And also, if you want to prevent that from happening, Make sure you probably don't have any hair product in your hair when you brush it. Although, I mean, I mean dry hair product. Gee, I'm finding that incredibly hard to pick off at the moment. I feel like I want to pull more back just so I can get some grip on this glue here. And as I pull on this, I'm actually making the hair, front hairline here worse. It's probably gonna become, not, not worse in terms of being covered in glue or whatever, but it's probably gonna become a bit more corrugated, which means I can never flatten it out nicely in a nice tight front anymore. So let's see what I do. I'm gonna stop picking at it because I'm a bit worried that that's gonna happen more and more. And I'm just gonna glue that front section down. And 
And also this thing, now that I've got all this hair stuff in my hair, all product, I've got to be careful with this as well, this thing, not to start ripping at hairs. Because that, that is the reason you end up having to swap out your hairpiece. Now let's have a look at this chunky glue. You can see it's still all the way up to there. Gee, I wish they'd made that window bigger for us to look through. That's just ridiculous to try to see where your glue level's at. And also I've complained about this bottle many times. The brush isn't long enough to reach the bottom. I'll try not to make the same mistake as I did last time by not putting enough, oh fuck. It's very, very, very awkward to glue an area this small. And you see I've got some glue on my front hairs, that's not good. So make sure you put a thick layer of glue when you apply your hairpiece, especially along the very, very front tip. Because if you don't put enough glue, you get that little bit of lifting that I was just showing you. And if you're gonna do use lace, then use the tape marking method. Because you really want that glue to be set down nice and thick. And I think a lot of people would be worried there'd be too much glue. And you don't want too much glue either, but, but I mean, if you've got a nice distribution, it's thick, then it's gonna hold. You just gotta be careful, you know, when this glue gets hot, it uh, melts. And that happens just basically room temperature, or just a little bit hotter than room temperature. Let's say about 80 degrees, it's melting. About Fahrenheit, or 25 degrees Celsius. Pain in the ass that I got that glue on those hairs there. See, my, 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 my struggle, well, see, that's not good. That's chunked out like that. I feel there's still not enough glue at that front tip there. I feel like it's, it's just got no glue there at all. That's better. So while you're trying to fix one thing, you might cause other problems, so be careful. Maybe you have to weigh up whether or not it's worth it. Or don't use a fat brush like that when you're trying to do something that small. Some people say to use a uh, toothpick. But I can't see exactly how that would work. I haven't tried it though. Usually I would use a Q-tip, cotton tip. I probably should have in that example. So I'm definitely waiting the full 15 minutes this time and um, not much I can do with those front hairs with glue in them. I'll try not to touch them. It also looks like I've got some curling going on right there. Can you see, can you see that curling? If you have curling, it'll double the thickness of the front and definitely make something worse than a line. It'll be a lump and a sh with a shadow. No shadows. It's been 15 minutes, at least. How many hours did I lose at time? Maybe one? Half one? Maybe that just pinched it off. But it could have pulled them out and loosened them, you see? You've got to keep your eyes out for all that sort of stuff. You don't want to be tugging on them. I'll give you an example. See this one? This long here. It feels like it's an emergent. See, it might be the same length as the others, but I'm sort of tempted to just tug, tug, tug it out. Don't just be tugging them out. Like that, see those, that one there? It's 
Oh, sort of, okay, that's superfluous. So this is what I've been doing. I've just been grabbing them like that and just pulling them out. But that didn't come all the way at that time. There, this one will, see? That's what I've been doing when I'm lying in bed, just playing with it, right? Just, I pull them out. Like this one, for example, see? It's annoying me, it's hanging there like that. There's no need for me to pull it out at all. I'm just showing you what not to do. Don't pull them out. If they are emergent, just snip them. With scissors, yes, you have to learn to cut your own hair if you want to have a hair piece. Is that really the scariest thing about all this for you? Cutting your own hair? You having a laugh? Is he having a laugh? Right. There's that glue that I put on my own hair, which is fucking stupid of me. See, now I'm gonna yoink these hairs out. So, can't be bothered dealing with it properly. The C22. God, that does not look better. <coughs> so I can't even get to that front tip to press it down because this big chunk of glue You see 22. Okay, fine. I'll put it on a rag for you. Jeez. Demanding. Right here. That's too much of a chunk, let us spray it. And also, I've got a lot of muck and uh, hairspray in my hair right now, so that's not making this any easier. But I really need to make sure it's got that C22 soaked in nice, because I'm about to stick a comb through it, and that if that's not loosened, if that's not de-knotted from the C22 right now, that will rip the hairs out. Do you understand me? Water. Okay, ready? I'm gonna use the big ones, not the little ones. There's a chance of groping. See what I'm doing now? Because it's when they're knots, you start pulling them out like this. And then I get the temptation to do that instead of doing. Also, trust me about this one. My life is better since I started folding my towel in half like this before hanging it up instead of just going. 
like I used to. I just much prefer, life is just simply better when you make your bed. Now I don't officially make my bed every day. In fact, I've got to wash my sheets. But, oh yeah, I've said this to you before. Have the same underwear, all of it, make it all identical. And then you never have to think about your underwear ever again. Just get superfluous amounts of underwear, get like 30 pairs of underwear. It's your month worth of not having to do fucking washing. And as for socks, that's the most, even more important. Just get black socks that all match, like 30 pairs of black socks that all, th all match, right? So every sock matches the other socks. So it doesn't matter, you, know, you don't have to think about it, you don't have to waste time in the laundry separating socks and making sure they all match. They always match. And then in winter you've got little white socks. Sorry, in yeah, in summertime. Did they go with your sports shoes? See that flap there where there's no air there? It's a major risk of being visible. And also, unlike me, I hope you have more bench space than this. I can't get shit done, especially with this fan fucking here. I need to expand that out with some timber. Make that bigger. Because it's bullshit, all of it. I feel like this line is even more fucking serious than before. What the hell's going on with this freaking line, man? You know what didn't help? Stretching it with all that trying to pull off the glue. I should have just held it back, let the glue absolutely dry so there was no sweat or anything on it. Then it would just come off nicer and not have to take a thousand pinches with little stickiness. It just stood in front of the fan with it for a while, so it cooled. I mean, this if you blow dry your hair, you, you wanna use cold, right? You don't wanna make the glue melt. So, a fan is basically good enough to replace a hairdryer. Look at this thing. I took the screws out of the back of this thing because it was so full of fucking dust and put this in the shower just went and got all the dust out. Hasn't been used for a couple of years probably. Yeah, it's becoming pretty sparse around the front area. That, that area there has absolutely no glue on hair on it at all. I'm tempted to cut that out except for the fact that it seems to not really be that noticeable. But then, see the hairs get stuck on it, it does. It's the same anywhere along the perimeter. Is the line gone? It's still apparent there, isn't it? It's like a shadow, right there. But it's not lifting, so that's... I made an episode called Staggering and Ventilating or something. So, I've got to take that staggering advice. Because if the line's straight, it looks more obvious. Well, I tried the um, fingernail clippers on that front area on previous video, and it didn't fucking work with poly. It didn't. It didn't rip it. So I'm not really sure what to do about this little line here. 
in the elevator it was lifting and now I've glued it back down and it's not lifting at all. I think what's happened is that the lack of stretch, see once it's stretched you can't see it but then I've stretched it too much. See, that's all sort of starting to get pulled out along the front area there. It's really bad. It's really lots of hairs missing from that area. By the way, if this was lace, it would be far more evident where the forehead meets the shadows of, the, of that shit that's all over the front of your forehead. So if you ever do decide to pluck away some of the front hairs, be extremely careful not to pluck away too many. You do not want the base to be visible on its own. <sighs> well, so it's day 13 and now I'm already thinking that next time I take this off, it might be the end of this hairpiece, but it's still got some sort of future, isn't it? I mean, nobody can really tell what I'm complaining about. I mean, Nobody's looking at my forehead like you guys do, up here like this. But the worst thing is when you lift your forehead, right? It's almost like a secondary involuntary muscle of this back head goes, oh, you want me to do this now? So I lift my forehead as high as it will go, and then about one second later, my brain says, all right, head, do this, right? Watch this. Did you see that? I'm not, I'm not controlling that. Watch this, I'll do it again. Lift, I'll lift my eyebrows as high as I can, and I'll just wait, really, just... Do you see that? That's not an extra muscle that I'm controlling. Is that? I can control my own hairpiece. It's got a mind of its own. Like, say, I can't control my own hairpiece. It's got a mind of its own. Just... Is that, is that strange to you? You don't look very surprised. Well, I'm the idiot. You're a fucking idiot. How can you not appreciate this? Ready? Watch this. Do it again. <laughs> Love it. New party trick, but I won't be showing the public because I don't want to look right there anymore, ever again. Unless it's fucking perfect. The other thing is, I haven't pointed out to you, is that the shine from this makes the plastic shiny. So potentially don't use shiny hair products because it'll make the poly a different texture. Here you go. Look at this. Where is it? Hardly ever use this stuff. Nick Shine Killer. Okay, this kills shine. I suggest you always have some of this stuff though, just in case you really want to get rid of that front. These bandits. Here we just hold it again. You see that transition where there's a a line? That's just a hair, not a line, but okay, where's the shiniest kind of Okay, I've got that on my finger. Put it on. Does that look less shiny now? I think it does. It's really dulled it. I don't know what toxicity level this thing is that it can turn something shiny dull, but now it looks like the hair's growing out of my fucking head. Use this stuff. <laughs> Buy some of this, really. I don't know where to buy it from. I got it from a store once. Like, I walked around looking for some makeup, and the lady said, put this, this will make your nose stop shining or whatever. Because I wasn't saying, I need my hair, my hair piece front edge to not shine. But holy shit, that seriously did it. Not to say that I didn't need to glue that front down a bit better, like, but I, I probably could have got a bit of a toothpick and just put a bit of glue there and just slammed it down instantly instead of all that bullshit that I just did. But I don't have any toothpicks. And I didn't think of it. So this is a way too long video over some tiny touch up that only required a toothpick, the glue, and this. But I fucked around. Anyway, we all learned something. I hope you learned something. I definitely did.